Chapter on the wounds inflicted on the Prophet peace be upon him on the day of the Battle of Uhud. Narrated Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him pointing to his broken canine tooth said, Allah's wrath has become severe on the people who harmed his Prophet. Allah's wrath has become severe on a man who is killed by a Messenger of Allah in Allah's cause. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, Allah's wrath became severe on him whom the Prophet peace be upon him had killed in Allah's cause. Allah's wrath became severe on the people who caused the face of Allah's Prophet peace be upon him to bleed. Narrated Abu Hazim that he heard Sahal bin Sa'ad being asked about the wounds of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him saying, By Allah, I know who washed the wounds of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him and who poured water for washing them and with what he was treated. Sahal added, Fatima, peace be upon her, the daughter of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him, used to wash the wounds, and Ali ibn Abi Talib used to pour water from a shield. When Fatima saw that the water aggravated the bleeding, she took a piece of a mat, burnt it, and inserted its ashes into the wound so that the blood was congealed and bleeding stopped. His, that is, the Prophet's canine tooth got broken on that day, and his face was wounded, and his helmet was broken on his head. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, Allah's wrath gets severe on a person killed by a Prophet, and Allah's wrath became severe on him who had caused the face of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, to bleed.